mother was brutally taken from her young children. She has a grandson. She's nine months old, so she just became a grandma, and she never even got to meet him. Right now, Fidel Fletcher is the man accused of stabbing the woman, and he's still on the run. We News reporter Jolena Esperto joins us now live in Charlotte County. Jolena, you spoke to neighbors who witnessed the stabbing. What did they say? They said they tried to help, but the victim was in bad shape once she escaped to their house, and they wanted to make sure they grabbed her five-year-old and six-year-old daughters and brought them to safety. So they kept them in their house for the night and they called 911 right after her youngest daughter tried to call 911. They told me both daughters witnessed the entire attack and they still do not feel safe knowing their neighbor's killer is still out there on the loose. Nicole Gates moved to Florida about a year ago after the passing of her husband and father of her children, December 26, 2022. She wanted her kids to have a fresh start and change of scenery. She married Fidel Fletcher shortly after. Fletcher is suspected of stabbing her to death December 26, 2023. And the saddest part, the oldest was like, my mommy or my daddy's gone and now my mommy's gone too. And they both in heaven together and yeah, I kept saying, let's was, just pray, let's yeah. just pray. Neighbors told me Nicole ran to their house for help after Fletcher stabbed her multiple times. They tried to help her, but she eventually died after going to the hospital. She grabbed the screen door and she just went straight down to the ground. But she said as she was running, help he's trying me, to kill me. me. He's killing me. He's killing me. And she went to the ground. Well, that's when I yelled at my daughter and I said, go grab a towel. Because, I mean, she was just covered. Um, so. I mean, it was horrific. Nicole, or Nikki as loved ones call her, was the oldest of five sisters. Two of them, Tabitha Hunt and Bianca Anastasia. She had a contagious smile. Um, she kept everybody laughing all the time. She was a very bright person. She was just somebody, like her laughter was probably the thing we'll miss the most. Neighbors told me Nikki's relationship with Fletcher, who sometimes goes by the alias Neil, did not sound good. Her sisters told me they believe Nikki kept them sheltered from how bad it really was. We just want him caught. We want him off of the streets. We, we need to start this grieving process and we can't do that when we know he's still out there. Our minds are so clouded by the fact that he's still out there. I don't believe our sister was his last stop. And her sisters told me Nikki never got to meet her first grandson, who's only nine months old. Now, Crime Stoppers is offering $3,000 for any information that may lead to Fletcher's arrest. And the U.S. Marshal Service is adding another 5000 on top of that. Now, if you see Fletcher, he may be riding a black BMX style bike wearing blue jeans and a green army style jacket. He may have fled to Arcadia, but he does have ties here in Charlotte County. Live in Port Charlotte, Jolena Spurdo, Wink News.